Before starting to repair the implant, please read through the Aquilos repair manual. Take a standard round drill or diamond with the diameter 1.2 mm to 1.4 mm and punch mark the center of the abutment. Using the thread core drill M1.6, drill to a depth of 3 mm up to the marking. Align the drill according to the implant axis and drill at a speed of 1800 rpm with good irrigation. Apply sufficient pressure with the drill in order to observe clear chip formation. Install the screw tap M1.6 in the medium ratchet insert for instruments or in the short version if there is a lack of space and use the handle for the ratchet insert or the surgical ratchet. Always use Vaseline for thread cutting. Proceed with care and do not cant the instrument. Do not forget to turn backwards at regular intervals in order to break up the chips you need to perform two or three full rotations. Use a 1.0 mm screwdriver to turn the extraction bolt tight into the thread which has just been cut. Turn the ratchet insert for the extraction bolt via the extraction bolt up to the implant shoulder. Using the surgical ratchet, continue to turn in a clockwise direction until the rest of the taper comes out. Just like the screw tap, the screw fragment removal instrument is used together with the ratchet insert for instruments and the handle for the ratchet insert. Place the tip with open jaws over the screw shaft and unscrew the screw fragment, turning in a counter-clockwise direction. If only the threaded sleeve is located inside the implant, the unscrew instrument, which is operated with the handle for the screwdriver insert, should be used next. Locate the opening in the sleeve, push the instrument into this opening and turn counterclockwise. If the methods described are not successful, the remaining screw must be drilled out. Position the taper protection 1.0 in the implant. Ensure that it is securely in place. 
drill in a counterclockwise direction up to the depth stop. At this point, you can attempt to grasp and remove the remainder of the screw using the unscrew instrument. Should this prove unsuccessful, proceed with the twist drill 1.4. Use the twist drill 1.4 just like the crown cutter. The only difference being that the twist drill 1.4 is turned clockwise. The final step involves cutting the thread. The tap M1.8 must also be covered with Vaseline. Take the three instruments with the one, two and three notches one after the other. Proceed with extreme care and do not cant the instruments. This can cause breakages and thus to loss of the implant since it is almost always impossible to remove the part which has broken off. Thank you. 